A beautiful good morning to you all again as we continue in our meditations in the week. I hope you've carried your notebook and your Bible. You're writing down these things. You will never, never regret as you write them down. Today we are looking at chapter 11, verse 25 of the book of Romans. I'm going to read, beginning to read from verse 25. We're going to go all the way up to verse 32. For I, do know, I, I, for, I, for I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you be wise in your own opinion, th that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. And, all, and so all Israel will be saved. As it is written, the deliverer will come out of Zion and will, he will turn away ungodliness from Jacob, for this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. Verse 28. Concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake, but concerning the election, they are beloved for the sake of, their fa of the fathers. For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. Verse 30. For as you were once disobedient to God, yet now obtained mercy through their obedience. Even so, these also have now been obedient, disobedient, that, they, that through the mercy shown, shown you, they may also obtain mercy. Verse 32. For God has committed them to all, 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 all to disobedience, that he might have mercy on them all. Very beautiful writings of Paul. When you read verse 25 to 32, verse 25 to 32 brings about the mystery of God's plan. Now, in this section, Paul is actually revealing a mystery. He is actually uh, 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 reveal, re revealing a partial hardening that has come upon Israel until the fullness of Gentiles has come in. Paul actually is writing and is, and is saying that this hardening is not, is, not, is not permanent because God desires to show mercy to all. He desires to show mercy to all. Even though there's a partial hardening that has come upon Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles come in, God is interested to show mercy they are hardened, yes, but he showed mercy. Just the way sometimes we get so hardened, but God shows mercy. Friends, just as the Gentiles were once disobedient and have now received mercy, so to Israel will one day be recipients of God's mercy. Remember, Gentiles never believed in Christ before. They never believed in God before. They, were very, they had rejected Christ, but they received God's mercy. Even Israel, though they, were reject, they rejected God, Christ, Paul is reminding them that mercy is still available to them. So the, our response, brothers and sisters, to the mysteries of God's plan should be humble. I mean, it should, 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 should be those that actually respond to the mercy of God. God's plans, brothers and sisters, goes above human understanding and his mercy extends to all who believe. Human understanding and his mercy, you know, it extends beyond who, all who believe, you know. God's plan and his mercy it, it transcends all sovereignty and his desire for all to come to repentance. God wants to display his mercy in a very special way. His plan is beyond our comprehension and his mercy is available to all who believe, despite your ethnic community, despite where you come from. So, God is calling you to experience his mercy and salvation. And that's what we are looking, the mystery we are looking at today. God's mercy and God's salvation. So what are we saying this morning? There are several lessons that we have, take homes that I want to give you today. One, Paul in these portions of scripture reveals the mystery of the partial hardening and eventual salvation. We see a hardening of the Jews, of the Israelites, and salvation of the Gentiles. You know, that means hardening is a reality. There are people who just decide to become hard. They hear the word of God, but they just harden. They don't want to receive that word. So Paul reveals that. But he also reveals that God's plan transcends human understanding and his mercy knows no bounds. 
He says that despite the hardening that is there, his mercy is beyond no bounds. That wherever you are hardened, even wherever you are today, his mercy is there. And then lastly, Paul actually brings in the fact that trusting in God is amazing. God's mysterious ways will lead you to wonder at it all, at his all and wisdom. Can you imagine? When the Gentiles received grace, I'm sure the Jews looked at the Gentiles and they wondered how on God's awe and God's wisdom. Never think that God cannot reach a particular group of people. Even in the world today, there are people who have been just marked. Ah, these are sinners. These are unbelievers. But let me tell you, God will reach them. There are those that God is reaching right now, even as we speak. You know, God is invading their worship, their places, their shrines, their whatever, the holes in which they're hiding. And God is ministering to them. I think sometimes, and I told a friend, I feel like sometimes in heaven we shall be surprised. There are many, we shall receive many surprises in heaven because of those that have received God's mercy. May you be a partaker of that mercy. And please don't harden your heart, but receive this mercy with thanksgiving. Father, in Jesus' name, help us to embrace your mercy even as we love you and even as we fellowship with you night and day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow, even for our next session.